If you're thinking of doing a tattoo, this video will help you decide the style, even if you are at the first tattoo or not. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more info like this. And also, hit the bell icon to be notified. What you do with your body is a personal choice, and nobody should be judging if you're getting a tattoo or a piercing. With this issue checked, let's guide you through the main tattooing styles we documented, helping you decide what kind of tattoo you want on your skin. Write in the comments below if you have a tattoo and which style, to help others with their choice. Small tattoos are a trend right now and is good start for your tattoo experience. They are often minimalist in style. This is a kind of tattoo that is best known for working with crisp black lines, simple and usually sparse color palette and negative space. Minimalist tattoos are mainly plain, simple and delicate. A geometric tattoo deals with several lines or geometric shapes that come together to form an even bigger shape. Geometric tattoos can come in the form of leaves, lines, stars, and a host of other patterns. A tattoo can be a word, a sentence or even a quote that represents you. Also, the style of lettering can be unique. The traditional style, also called old school tattoo style, American traditional tattoo style, classic tattoo style or western traditional tattoo style, is known for its bold lines, bright colors, and iconic designs like roses, anchors, and gorgeous lady heads. Realism or photorealism is a technique that results in artwork that looks like a photograph or a real-life 3D object. You can find jaw-dropping color and black and gray portraits of pretty much any celebrity you can think of as well as realistic depictions of nature and just about anything else imaginable, even the surreal. A watercolor tattoo is a bright, vivid marking made up of a number of subtle color gradients and techniques that create a more gradual color fade out. This effect is intended to mimic the characteristics of a classic watercolor painting, which is where the style gets its name. Tribal tattoos are derived from ancient tribal art. In many cultures, getting tattooed was, and still is, a rite of passage. Modern tribal tattoos are based on ancient designs. These cultures use their art to depict rites of passage, social status, and family identification. Though these styles are all unique, they are somewhat similar, almost always done in black with elaborate patterns.
Mandala tattoos are sacred designs that are mainly used for religious purposes. They first gained their popularity amongst the Hindus and the Buddhist religion. They normally take the shape of a circle which is created from the center towards the edges to make an awesome look. New School is a tattooing style originating as early as the 1970s and influenced by some features of old school tattooing in the United States. The style is cartoonish and wacky and is often characterized by the use of heavy outlines, vivid colors, and exaggerated depictions of the subject. The neo-traditional tattoo is a modern variation of the old school or the American traditional tattoo. The neo-traditional tries to make things more modern by adding bold lines in the symbol and also through the use of realistic images and cartoons. The main difference between traditional tattoos and neo-traditional tattoos is that neo-traditional tattoos often have a broader color palette and a broader range of motifs. Irizumi is the Japanese word for tattoo, and Japanese tattooing has had its own distinct style created over centuries. This method also requires special ink called Nara. It is a painful and time-consuming process, done by a limited number of specialists. A blackwork tattoo is a bold work of body art rendered in solid planes of black ink. Usually, these tattoos are composed of abstract patterns and geometric shapes, though some feature figurative forms and recognizable scenes and subjects. A style of tattooing that combines aspects of American traditional and realism typically using bold outlines and realistic shading to depict illustration-like designs. The classic themes of the Chicano style are, women, skulls, flowers and religious figure. Used to send messages or sometimes to get a favor between prisoners, they became a form of art with Catholic themes, faith symbols, imagery of political Chicano movement and figurative art of prisons. A biomechanical tattoo is one in which a part of the body is fused with a machine to create a tattoo imagery of machine or robotic parts. Being part human, part machine, this style of body art explores the human biological body makeup. Anatomical tattoo tells the world that you are a survivor, and have made art of your duress. The style resembles fine art collages in that it combines realistic images with smears, smudges, and kinetic designs that generate a discordant, chaotic look to the piece. A blast-over tattoo is a form of cover-up tattoo that doesn't fully cover the tattoo below, effectively creating a layered ink look. If you've got a wonky piece of ink from the past, but want to hold onto it due to a significant meaning, a blast-over tattoo is the perfect solution. These are the main tattooing styles that we documented. We hope this video will help you in your decision and remember, you are 100% in charge of your body. Don't 
forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more info like this. And also, hit the bell icon to be notified.